Live for the day and pray for tomorrow. Don't wait on tomorrow for you to go out there and accomplish your goals. Do it now. Fuck waiting for it. We ain't waiting on nobody. Wake sunk the ship. We going out there and making it happen right now. Not later. Yeah, I know you want to go to the club and party and turn up with your homeboys. Tell them niggas, listen, it's 2024. I'm busy. Don't hit me back until 2025. That boy. That boy. You are now watching Create a Steady Hustle with Liquid Cash. Cheers, what it is and what it ain't. It's your truly Liquid Cash. I need it all out the stash, a.k.a. Money Making Mitch. Hide ya. Uh, y'all know what it is, right? Y'all know what this is, right? It's the episode of Create a Steady Hustle. And this episode is called How to Find Your Ambition. New Year's Resolution, you heard? Oh uh, man, this is gonna be a wonderful, wonderful episode. As you can see, as you can see, a nigga's flea. Yeah, I'm flea. Y'all, y'all already know I'm the drip guy, right? Y'all know I'm the drip guy, right? So I had to get suited and booted. It's the New Year's resolution episode, how to find your ambition. So I had to get right, man. I had to put on that shit, man. You know what I mean? This the last one for the year. So y'all know how we coming. We're gonna give you good information. The content is going to be A1, Perico. All I need for you to do is like, subscribe, and share the content with your friends. You heard? It's a new year. It's a new day. We're going to make this one count, all right? Last year, we fucked up. But this year, we're going to luck up. You heard? Because we moving all the way up, nigga, to the top floor. We ain't stopping. Y'all know the vibes. So y'all know it's New Year resolution episode, so it's only right I have a bottle of champagne got the glass for the champagne and uh you know i also got my tea of course because i'm gonna be sipping my tea but we're gonna pop this bottle of champagne to get right we're gonna get right into it you know what i mean yeah we're gonna most definitely get right into it man we're gonna celebrate surviving 2023 you feel me and and it's and it's a cause to celebrate man if you alive today you got to be thankful and grateful for that man because a lot of people ain't make it man you know what i mean some of my family members didn't make it either, but you know, we here. So it's only right. We're going to celebrate. We're going to toast it up for those that is not here, you heard? Like I said again, man. If you can't find nothing to be thankful for, be thankful to be alive. That's more important than anything. You feel me? Yeah, man. Like I said, man, this episode is called How to Find Your, find your Ambition. Because uh, for this new year... We want to tap into our ambition. We want to get focused and we want to lock in. All right? We want to lock in. Ooh, jeez. It's a celebration. We ain't going to stop the show, baby. We're going to keep it going. Y'all know the vibes. We're going to keep it going. I didn't want that shit to pop, but it did. You know what I'm saying? We're going to still keep that motherfucker going. You heard? We ain't stopping nothing. One monkey don't stop the show. Like I said, man, we're going to celebrate life, you heard? Cheers. We're going to toast to success. We're going to toast to more life. We're going to toast to wealth and prosperity. And may your blessings and your pain be champagne. Ah. Y'all know I don't drink much, right? So, matter of fact, I don't drink at all. But it's it's, it's, it's definitely a celebration. So, I'm going to take a little sip and, you know... That's just me just participating in the festivities. But that's going to be my last sip for the night. We're going to put this down here, you heard? We don't need that in the way at all. Because we don't want to take no more sip of that. I want to get right. Get into this episode. So you can understand what we're doing, man. We celebrating life. We celebrate more wins. We celebrate more success. 2023 was a blessing because we still here. We still alive. And we're going to do what we got to do to make sure 2024 is also a wonderful, wonderful uh, year as well. Like I said again, y'all see what's going on, man. You know the drip report. I got that motherfucking, <laughs> that wild animal on my back, you heard? I got that silver back gorilla on my back, you dig? Put me in the jungle, I'm going to come out with a, you know what I mean? A lion fur, you feel me? 
Yeah, and uh, on the jacket, y'all already know, man. <laughs> I had to put on that emerald green. That's that prosperity green, you feel me? Green for the money. Also, we got the black slacks, you feel me? On the shoes, you can see what I got on. Yeah, the shoes match the coat too as well. I'm gonna take off the, the big coat so you can see the, you know what I mean? The blazer underneath, you can see that it all matches, you heard? Everything gotta coordinate like I told you before. It's my new year fit, so I had to get new year drip. You know what I mean? That's how we doing that, you dig? I'm feeling real uh, super fly, you heard? That's how I'm feeling, man. You know how to put on the bow tie. Yeah, man, rest in peace to Malcolm X. I send La Malaika to all my Muslims out there. Yeah, I had to show love and represent. So we got the motherfucking, you feel me, bow tie on. You dig? You already know what's on the wrist. Oh, that's water on the wrist, by the way. Yeah, yeah, the wrist is flooded. These the big boogers in the in the bezel. These ain't the small boogers. You know what I mean? These ain't the small boogers, you dig? This the big boogers in the bezel. You know what I mean? Don't don't waste your your, your, your last, you know what I mean, re-up money on that bullshit. You buy that type of shit when you already got your money stacked up. You feel me? Like I said again, I'm dressed for the occasion, man. I feel like, you know what I mean? Super fly, you dig? It's a new year, so I gotta show out. You feel me? I gotta bring it in correct, looking like money, smelling like money. Cause if you smell good and you look good, you are gonna feel good. And that's gonna bring nothing but goodness in your life. You feel me? Of course, you know what's on the frame, Bottega Vanetta's. Yeah, I know that's my favorite designer right now when it comes to glasses. Y'all know how they, 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 they coming and they giving it up, man. Quality, quality over quantity. They got the dopest gold frames in the game. Y'all know I'm drinking that. That uh, tea with that little bit of sea moss inside of it. Yeah, that helps with keeping your skin and your body, and your, you know what I mean? Your body looking right and feeling right. Uh, it's gonna be a wonderful episode, man. Like I said before, um, we wanna give a shout out to our sponsors for the new year, Jackpot Mobility. Anytime you're in the Las Vegas area, you got an elderly family member that don't wanna walk up and down the strip, all you gotta do is listen man call up jackpot mobility they're going to deliver the scooter to your hotel and they're going to pick it up on your departure date listen man it's easy breezy it's comfortable it's where you need to be riding and you want to ride in style when you cruising through the las vegas strip you heard you got an elderly person in your family trust me they're going to be they're going to thank you they're going to definitely thank you for taking the time out to even consider getting them a mobility scooter while they're upping while they're moving up and down in these casinos gambling all right also i like to also let y'all know luxury brothers party bus is a luxury sprinter y'all already know what it is man it fits up to 10 to 12 people if you got a group in town that y'all want to party and y'all want to have a good night on the town you hit up the luxury brothers they definitely punctual with timing they're gonna pick you up drop you off take you where you need to be all the popular spots in las vegas dreas fountain blues uh, cosmopolitan the aria wherever you need to go they're gonna make sure you get there safe and sound all right uh, that's it for the sponsors today. If you would like to be sponsored, if you like to be a sponsor of the show and want your brand or want your company or want your business to be to be promoted on my show, all you got to do is hit up liquidcash at gmail.com. All right. That's all you got to do is hit up liquidcash at gmail.com. I'm going to have my assistant get back to you pronto. All you got to do is hit us up, and we're going to look into what you try to promote. We're going to check your business out, and we're going to see if it's beneficial for us, and we'll do some business together, all right? Like I said, again, the best way to get your business out there, you got to market and promote. Got to spend those marketing dollars, man. You want to get your, 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 your product in the front of as much eyes as possible. That's how you got to do it, man. You can't slack on it. You got to invest in your business, all right? Like I said again, man, it's going to be a dope episode, how to find your ambition. That's what a lot of us need to, to, to understand, man. We need to find the ambition that we're going to need in order to take us to where we need to be. Um, in all my episodes, like I said, man, I like to start off with the problems, then we go into the solutions. The problem today, what I've been noticing, man, a lot of people, they don't know who they are. And they, when you don't know who you are, it's hard for you to really try to decipher what you really want to do. 
So you got to understand, you got to learn yourself, study yourself, know who you are as an individual, take time with yourself and really sit down and really map out what you all about. That's what I had to do when I was trying to build my brand and take it to the next level. I actually sat down, sat down, man, and I mapped out everything that I felt represent me. I took a list of things and a list of just, just words that I felt that was a representation of who I was. And throughout my whole life, I had to sit down and I had to think throughout my whole life, what was that one thing that I always was going after? What was that one thing that kept me, you know, kept me uh, striving for more? And I, and I realized that I was always chasing the cash, man. I was always after the bag, no matter where I was at in life, no matter what stage in my life, I was always trying to get the bag. Once I got into adulthood and in my teenage years, I was just focused on getting money. So I needed to develop a brand that was based on my, my core values. And my core values is standing on integrity, having principles and morals, and also standing for something. So when it comes to the paper, I felt like by me always trying to get more paper, always trying to get more money, I say, man, it's only right that I name myself and rebrand myself Liquid Cash because I wasn't the type of dude that was always focused on having a credit card or uh, focused on just looking like I had some money. I was really trying to have it in my possession. And most of the times I didn't even really want to spend it. I just want to have the money, really, to be honest with you. I didn't really care about spending the bread. I really just want to have the bread. You feel me? I started spending it later on in life, but for the most part, I just wanted some money, man. You feel me? And um, so that's what I did. I stayed focused on getting to, getting to the money. And uh, I decided to say, you know what? Ain't nothing really than liquid cash. Ain't nothing really than liquid cash, man. All these niggas can front. All these niggas can stunt. They can have their credit card game down packed. They can have their swipe game down packed. But ain't nothing more real and nothing more genuine than having that liquid cash. Your card ain't gonna never decline once you got cash, you feel me? So that's what I was focused on, getting to that, you know what I mean? Getting to that bag. So I decided to need myself liquid cash. And then once I did that, I said, you know what? We interrupt this program for a quick, short commercial break. I know you're enjoying the episode. I know you're loving what you're hearing, but I need to pay the bill. I need you to log on right now to liquidcash.com. Not later, right now. Check out the merch, support the platform. If you love what you're hearing, listen, it's a give and take relationship, baby. I need you to support what I got going on, just like I'm supporting you with the content. You know how this shit go. We got to pay the bills. That cash is King Trucker hat. Definitely get that off top. You want to put that with this outfit? You go on the site, get one of these outfits as well. You see the hats behind me? We got all flavors for the neighbors, you dig? Listen, support the platform, support what I got going on. Now back to the episode. Cheers. What, do I, what, what was the one thing that a slogan that would represent me? Cash is king. Cash is an acronym for create a steady hustle. So I'm always on the hustle always trying to get money so I want to motivate people to what create a steady hustle so they can get what more cash you dig so it all makes sense see your your brand gotta all make sense of of who you are it gotta depict who you are and your core values and it gotta represent you to the to the core man you know what I mean so create a steady hustle acronym for cash also Liquid cash is what I really want to have. Then I said to myself, I said, man, I need to get me a logo. Feel me? I got to have a logo. It's only right. You cannot have a brand without having a logo. So it took me months and months and months to come up with a logo. You know, this, this ain't something that happened overnight. It took a long time. Months and months to come up with a logo. And I eventually came up with a logo. I'll tell y'all how I came up with a logo maybe another time, but I eventually came up with a logo, a dollar sign with a cash on, with a, with a dollar sign with a crown on top of it, and 
by having that crown on top of it, you already know that represents cash is king. Because I believe the person who has the cash is the king of their world. You understand? The one who has the money is the king of his world or her world. Broke niggas can't give instructions. Broke niggas can't give orders. If you broke, you can't tell nobody where to go and what to do because they ain't listening. Everything you saying is going to fall on deaf ears. That's why most of the young, the young guys out here now don't listen to the OGs because the OGs ain't got the money. They ain't shining like they used to. They ain't rocking the big diamonds like they used to. They don't really got the bag like, like they used to have. They don't drive the car that they used to have. You feel me? So you don't want to be one of those I used to have type of niggas. So n nobody really listen to those type of cats. That's why the young dudes ain't really paying attention. But they'll pay attention to a, the older cat that's really pushing that Benz, driving that nice car, shining, wearing nice clothes, because they still inspiring to achieve that. They have to have something they can look up to. I know for me, when I was growing up in the hood, shit, I was admired. I always admired the drug dealers. I always admired the people that had nice cars, motorcycles, live in nice homes, duplexes. You feel me? I admired all of that. And the only people that had that coming up in my neighborhood was the drug dealers. You feel me? I wasn't listening to the wino on the corner drinking alcohol all day, just sitting in the front of the liquor store doing a bunch of nothing. That wasn't the person I was getting my game from. Matter of fact, at that time, I wasn't really getting no game. I was just observing. I was in observation mode. So that's the whole thing. That's what that 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 inspired me to have this type of vibe, this, to have this type of look. The local drug dealers that was in my neighborhood, they was all flash, but they, but they had the cash as well. So you can't be all flash with no cash. You dig? You gotta have that paper, that green motherfucking paper. Matter of fact, it's blue now, you know what I'm saying? That's how time flies. Everything switch up with time. The paper ain't even green no more, it's blue. We still got a few, few green papers out there, but that blue $100 bill is what we really trying to capture. That's what we really trying to achieve. You dig? But I'm gonna let y'all get to see the rest of this suit real quick. Let me take this off real quick. Let me put this big, hey, sit boy. Sit, sit. Yeah, that's big ass silverback gorilla. Let me put this down right here. Sit, sit. That's how I talk to her, you dig? Yeah, she a wild motherfucking beast. I gotta definitely tame her. She good though, she good, she tame. You good boy? You good baby? She good, yeah, that motherfucker nice. Oh yeah, that nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I get fly, man. I get fly, man. These niggas talk about it, man. But I really, I really do this shit, man. I really, I really do this shit, man. I get real, I really, I get real dap on a motherfucker real quick, you dig? Y'all see the jacket, man. Y'all see the jacket. It's undeniable, man. It's undeniable. You can hate all you want. It's okay. It's alright. I understand why niggas hate. I understand, trust me. I know. It's okay, man. You doing your job. You supposed to hate on a nigga like me, man. Because I remind you of everything you ain't. So it's okay to hate on a nigga like me, but I'm going to keep on shining and I'm going to keep on putting it in your face. Yeah, because that's where it need to be, man. In your face so you can see it up close and personal. Get a Kodak look. Matter of fact, take a picture, nigga. So you can put it on your wall at night and fantasize and, 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 and admire me and hope that one day you can get a fraction a fraction of my swag, a fraction of my drip, a fraction of my personality, a fraction of my blessings, nigga. But you ain't gonna never get it because you a hater. Haters don't get blessed. That's what you forgot to understand. That's what you forgot to learn. That was in the fine print when you were signing up for your PhD, your player haters degree. When you signing up for your PhD and you got your PhD, uh, when you walk down the aisle, you forgot in the fine print it said, haters do not get blessed. Yeah, haters only get stressed. That's why you stressful. That's why your life is stressful. That's why your hair falling out. That's why your girl leaving you. That's why you're going through all the bullshit you're going through. You're about to get fired from your motherfucking job. Yeah, you're down and out. You're on your last motherfucking buck and you can't even buy luck. Yeah, it's hard for you out there because you've been hating all your life. Show some love. You dig? And you will fly above all the nonsense. But yeah, y'all know I gotta pop my shit, right? It's only right I gotta pop my shit, man. Yeah, man, you dig? 
So that's how we doing it, man. Like I said again, haters don't get blessed, man. They only get a lifetime of stress, you heard? Give love, you're going to get it back in return. That's all you got to do. You feel me? As well, man, like I said again, man, you got to know who you are. It took time for me to cultivate my brand. But once I made that decision, it was a wrap. I just stayed focused and I went on my grind, man. I had to go get it, you dig? So it's important to know who you are. It's important to find out what represents you. What's your, what's, you know what I mean? That one thing that represents you. And it got to be short and sweet. Can't be long. It got to be short and sweet. Soon as they hear it, it embodies everything that you are, everything that you represent. Like I said again, when you hear the word cash, when you hear that word cash, you already know. You already know what that stands for. That nigga's about getting some money. That's a hustler. That's an entrepreneur. That's a go-getter. That word just represents so much. You feel me? And, you know, of course, I decided to start a clothing line with that as well. Cash apparel. You feel me? Why? Because I want to teach entrepreneurship through music and fashion. So I had to come up with something that was going to inspire people in the fashion world and in the music world. You feel me? So I'm an entrepreneur to the core. I'm a renaissance man. I ain't waiting for no nigga to give me a deal. I am the deal. I ain't looking for no man to sign me. I sign myself. That's how you got to do it. See, a lot of times niggas sell their soul and give their life and their rights away because they looking for somebody to save them. Nah, ain't nobody coming to save you. You got to sign yourself and save yourself. So all my entrepreneurs out there, all my inspiring artists out there, stop looking for a deal. Stop looking for somebody to come in and give you something that you're not willing to give yourself. You work every day just like everybody else. So you want somebody else to spend their money on you, but you don't spend your money on your own crap and the things you love? See, y'all got the game fucked up. I don't mind spending... I don't mind spending a dime on my... What I'm trying to do, man. You feel me? It took time for all of this to transpire. It took thousands and thousands of dollars. But I got it done. If I waited on somebody to give me the money to get it done, it would never happen. So you have to understand, no one is coming to save you. You're going to have to save yourself. Yeah, you got to know what you want. To the T. To the T. 2024, you better know what you want. Get you a vision board. It's imperative that you get yourself a vision board. Do not go into 2024 without a vision board. You're going to be lost out here, man. You need something that's going to guide you and direct you so you can know the next step that you need to take in your growth and development. For too long, you've been winging it. You're creating everything in your life, but the problem is you've just been winging it. So the universe has just been giving you nonstop trial and error. You've been on a nonstop roller coaster ride. You want to get off that roller coaster ride and take the trajectory going all the way up? You want to take that elevator going all the way up? Get you a vision board. Cut out pictures and things that you want for 2024. Goals that you want to achieve for 2024. Put that on your vision board. Put it everywhere where you can see it. In your bathroom, in your car. Put it everywhere that you can visualize it and you look at it in the morning when you wake up and right before you go to bed. All right? Also, it's important that you stay focused on your journey. 2023 was very, very difficult for some of us, even me. But I stayed the course and I stayed focused. I knew what I wanted. I knew where I wanted to go. So I stayed focused on that journey. So it's important, like I always say, and I'm going to stress, it's important to know what you want because success is a decision away. You can't kind of want it. You can't almost want it. You got to be obsessed with it. You have to be a, you have, you have to have a magnificent obsession with your goals and your dreams. Don't worry about how you're going to get it. Just focus on the next step. I have to repeat these things because through space repetition is how you get it synced in your mind, synced in your memory, memory bank, all right? So,
So it's important that you know what you want so you can be able to go after it and be tunnel vision and be focused. You gotta know what you wanna do as well, man. Know what you want and really know what you wanna do, man. You gotta know what you really wanna do in life. Figure that out. Once you figure that out, that's just half the battle. But that's one of the most important things, knowing what you wanna do. See, I wanna inspire the world. I wanna motivate that young kid, the young 15 year old me. I wanna motivate the 14 year old me. I wanna give me the tools that I wanted, but nobody was there to give it to me. I can't leave this earth without dropping jewels and breadcrumbs of some of the things that I've learned so the next generation can come forward, pick some of those breadcrumbs up and get some understanding or overstanding and really use that information to, to better their life so they can be doing have whatever they desire based on the information that I've given them and the way they transcribe that information and utilize that in their life. To have ambition with no direction is gonna lead you to a stop sign. That's why it's very important for you to have a mentor or have somebody that you can get counsel from that can help guide you along your journey. We cannot do it on our own. We try to, many have tried, and many have failed. And like I said before, there's a thousand excuses for failure, but never a good reason. So I'm stressing the fact that you have to get yourself a mentor, somebody that you look up to, that you respect. And that person is gonna help in your growth and development. Also, they have to be successful as well. You don't wanna listen to nobody that's in a position that you in. Not saying that you can't, but you wanna have somebody around that's doing a little bit better than you. Yeah, you want that person to be doing a little bit better than you because now you can see it actually happening in real time. You're not listening to somebody who's telling you to do something that they have never done. Because I'm not going to listen to nobody that's telling me how to become the biggest podcaster in the world and they don't even have a camera. They don't even know how to talk in public. They don't even know how to set up anything in, 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 when it comes to camera equipment. They don't know how to edit. They haven't, they haven't done nothing in that field. So why am I listening to you? Why am I taking your advice? And right now you might not have a mentor and you might not see nobody around you that can be your mentor, but it's okay. Go online, cause you online right now. I know you on the internet a lot. Go online and find somebody that you look up to, that you admire, watch their videos. If they're giving quality information out, write it down and apply it. It's really that simple. You know what I mean? Most of my mentors are online. Most of the people that I look up to, that I get information from, they online. You feel me? So it's important. We don't need to, we're not, we're not going to, this year, 2024, we're not making no excuses. None at all. We're not waiting for the perfect time because it ain't no perfect time. The time is now. Not later, not tomorrow, not manana, because tomorrow never comes. You got to live for the day and pray for tomorrow because you're hoping that tomorrow comes. But you got to do it today. Don't wait until you get... See, a lot of times y'all are waiting on having the right amount of money, having the right opportunities, having the right equipment. You waiting too long. You gotta really take action right now. Well, whatever you got, I'm sure there's something that's in your vicinity, that's in your house, that you may have, or your friends have, or your family member have, that you can utilize to help you to where you trying to go and achieving your goals. If you're trying to do podcasting and you don't have the money to buy a Sony camera, a Nikon camera, utilize your phone. You're on it 24 seven. 
It shoots 4K quality. You can edit on CapCut. Technology is at an all-time high. Everything you want to do can be done. For you not, for you using, you can use excuse all day for, for, for you not being where you want to be. But everything you want in life can actually be done right now because our technology is at an all-time high. Right now we have AI technology. And with AI technology, we can do so much more in a faster amount of time. See, like I said again, man, the young lady, the young man that's sitting sitting down at home right now watching this and you broke and you busting, disgusting, you can't be trusted. That's because you want to be broke, bro. Like, you got to own up to that shit. You want to be broke. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like the story of the dog that was uh, sitting on a nail. The owner had a dog that was sitting on a nail and he was crying every day and every night. His friend came over and asked him, yo, why is your dog crying all day and every night? He said, oh, he's sitting on a nail. And he said, why wouldn't he get up? And he said, because it ain't hurting him enough. He's feeling the pain, but it doesn't hurt that much. So he can tolerate the pain. You feel in the pain of being broke, but you tolerate the pain because you not that broke. You able to buy your, your weed, you able to buy your liquor, you able to buy a little bit of food, you know what I mean? You able to you know pay your little bills or whatever. So you content with that. And you you want more money, but you don't do nothing to go out there and get more money because you content with the little bit that you have. See, this year, 2024, we're not gonna be content with nothing. 2024, we going after the big, the big, the big goals, the big dreams. You feel me? We going for the gusto. We want it all. Not just a little bit, give me it all. As I reflect on 2023, I've been through a lot this year. You know, this year, I almost lost my life. You know, this year was a very challenging year. You know, niggas almost took my life. Yeah, a hater almost took my life. Niggas came up to me, pulled guns on me and everything. But for some reason, for me, you know how they say you either fight or flight? But for some reason, for me, every time I'm in those positions where I'm almost, you know, gun right next to me, and I'm in that position where, I'm in a position where niggas really got me, pause, and I don't see no way out. I always end up fighting my way out. And God end up protecting me through it all. So it's like, like I said again, I might flash these jewelry and I might, you know, pop my shit. But y'all gotta understand when it comes to buying nice things and having nice things, that's just a radar for the wolves to come and try to take what you got. Trust me, all of this shit comes with a price. Are you willing to lose your life over flash and cash? Because once you decide to start making money and you start, you start to buy nice things, niggas is going to hate. The wolves are going to be trying to come and take what you got. You got to be prepared at all times. You got to be ready at all times. That day, 2023, they caught me slipping. You know what I mean? They caught me slipping. They could have got everything I had on. But for some reason, when it comes to fight or flight, I always fight. And God always fighting with me, so I'm always good through the grace of God. And I'm appreciative of his blessings. I don't take it for granted. I'm not Superman. Them niggas could have shot me and took my chain off my neck and kept it moving. But for some reason, that didn't happen. I'm not, and I'm here today talking to y'all, and I'm here today giving y'all this message. There's many times where niggas try to catch me slipping, but I end up, you know what I mean? Doing what I had to do to get out of that situation. And I'm here, like I said again, through the grace of God. So on your journey of trying to get to this bag, when you start to get the money, you're gonna acquire more things. Cause with more money, it becomes, <laughs> you know, you want a bigger house, you want a bigger car, you want to live in a better apartment, you want to have better jewelry, you want to have better clothes. 
But you got to understand, you also got to protect your life and be on guard. Because understand that not everybody's doing good as you and not everybody want to see you doing good. So this is it's a part of the process of living this boss life. We don't complain about it. We keep it moving. Know what I mean? We put ourselves in the position where we need to be so we can stay protected. Keep our vibration high. Keep our energy high so we can always walk in a space where we're guarded by our spiritual helpers and our universal God. You dig? And, um, that day when they almost robbed me, my vibration was low. I wasn't having a good day at all. So I was kind of surprised that it happened, but I wasn't surprised once I reflect and realize what was I vibrating? How was my energy that day? And that day my energy was very low. You know what I mean? My energy was very low and, and, and unfortunately that, that transpired. You know what I mean? So, but like I said, again, I'm thankful I'm here, man. And also, also, I want to say, you know, 2023, December 19, my sister passed away. You know what I mean? And um, I'm still dealing with that loss of my sister. But I understand that life goes on. Life don't stop for nobody. The bills still got to get paid. Um, kids still got to eat. Fortunately for me, I don't got no kids right now, but I know you're enjoying the episode, but I want y'all to take five seconds out your day. Just five seconds. Hold on. We're going to get back to it. I know it's getting juicy and we talking some real shit. You dig? But listen, I want y'all to check out my book, The Power of Thought. You can think your way to a rich and prosperous life. Change your mind and you can change your life. It's just that simple. I want y'all to check out my book, man, on www.thepowerofthought.shop. Check it out. Click the link below. Support your boy. Written by yours truly, Liquid Cash. I get back to the episode. Cheers. I still got to help out my family. I still got to help out my niece. I gotta still got to help out, you know, everybody around that's going through it. Because I'm not the only one that's grieving. I'm not the only one that's, you know, lost a sister. My brother's lost a sister. Her mother lost a daughter. You know, it's a lot. But we still got to keep on moving. We still got to hold our head high. And like I said again, that happened December 19th. So that's, you could already know, that's fresh. But still I'm here recording this podcast. And I'm still standing strong. And I'm still, you know, doing what I do best. Inspiring and motivating. Because that's what I built this platform for. To give back some inspiration. To give back some you know, some information and some jewels that people can use in their daily life to be doing, have everything and anything they want. So I'm staying on that course. I'm tunnel vision. And what I said again about, you know, when you when when it comes to death, I'm still learning how to deal with it because uh, at a young age I became numb to death because I saw my best friend die when we was super young too young to even understand life and death you feel me and also this year we had some good moments as well you know got me a new Rolls Royce you feel me um you know that was a blessing because that was a vision that I wanted and I put that on my vision board and um I made that came true to life actually I wanted me a wraith at first, but then they came out with a new, you know, Spectre, new Rolls Royce called the Spectre, and I said, nah, that's that's taking the place of the Wraith, and that was going to be available to the public 2025. I said, so let me go get the next big thing. Matter of fact, the biggest thing, which is the Cullinan. So I decided to get the Rolls Royce Cullinan, man. You know what I mean? And I wanted a black one, but guys say, nah, we're going to get you a green one because it's going to be one of one. Ain't nobody gonna have the green goblin. You feel me? See, you always think you need, or you, you always think your vision and your idea is the best, but God always have something better lined up for you. That's why when you writing your goals down, 
always leave room for God to give you a little bit, you know, a little bit something, give you something that you don't even think you need or want. So yeah, man, it was important for me to, uh, uh, to achieve that goal because that's something that I wanted. 2023, I was like, I'm gonna buy all the shit that I want this year because 2024, I'm gonna just be investing nonstop into what I'm doing and, and, and my accomplishments that I want, things that I want to achieve. So every dollar, 2024 is going to go back to my growth and development. I'm going to spend more on learning. I'm going to spend more on marketing and promoting my brand. I'm going to spend more on production on the clothing line that I got going on. So I'm going to spend more money on all the things that it's going to take me to where I really see myself for the next years to come. So putting that goal on my vision board and having that being accomplished makes me feel proud, makes me feel like I'm actually moving forward in the direction where I need to be going. Because anything that I put on my vision board, I may come true to life as long as I do the right thing consistently. You know, and um, that's how I, that's why I'm inspiring and I'm encouraging y'all to trust me, get a vision board and apply that to your daily life on your goals or trying to get things done. Pardon me, let me get some tea or some water real quick. Like I said, anything that I want to achieve, I put it on my vision board. And one of the things that I want to achieve was to uh, increase my brand awareness. So being the fact that just a few days ago, the Shade Room contacted me in my DM and asked me, can they post my content? And spiritual world end up posting my content as well. These are big blog sites. These are major, major, major blog sites. World Star end up posting my content as well. And they posted for the free 99. That was a blessing. You know what I mean? Because, like I said again, these are major blog sites. And Shade Room got about 28 million. 28 million followers. Spiritual World got about a couple million followers. No telling how much World Star got. They've been around since God knows when, you know what I mean? And they, I'm sure they charge thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to post one clip on their news feed. And for them to end up posting me, all three of them, end up posting me at the same time for free 99. You can't buy better promotion, man. I hit up the Shade Room in 2019 trying to be posted on their Instagram. They never responded because they got so much business coming in. They not worried about me. They probably didn't even see my DM. That's how much people are hitting them up on a daily basis, you know, just to advertise on that platform. So the fact that they even hit me up and asked to be Ask me, ask for permission to post my content. That's just everything coming full circle. Because I'm putting in the work. See, it's important that you understand that you put out the request of what you want. I put out the request by saying I want to increase my brand awareness. Plus, I'm out there putting in the work. So it's only natural that it's going to happen. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Because I know all my spiritual helpers and God is working behind the scenes, achieving and doing these things that I might can't do myself. Cheers, what it is and what it ain't. It's yours truly, Liquid Cash. I know you're enjoying this episode, but listen, you already know, man. The rest of this episode is on Patreon. All you got to do is subscribe to my Patreon and you'll be able to watch the rest of this episode. It's yours truly, Liquid Cash. Y'all know what it is. Create a steady hustle. Ah, uh, cheers. Yeah, it's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Niggas can't fuck with me, man. That boy. It's liquid that cash, boy. I need it all out the stash. I'ma get rich, I'ma get deported, riding cross country, my four tourists.